Hey, it's Chuck from Jockey Machine. Want to give everybody a quick preview of the Motocognito CB550 disc conversion for the rear. Um, wanted to show you quick what you're gonna what you're gonna take off uh, from your bike, and that is the stock rim. So this uh, hub and rim are the stock CB550 from 75. It's got the drum brake, uh, which is horrible. Doesn't really help stop very much. Um, and on the other side is your drive assembly, which has been gutted and removed. Uh, we took out the sprocket assembly, the cush drive bumpers, and the cover. And we're going to use that for the new rim that's coming from Motocognito. So your kit's going to show up, and it's going to not have a tire. It's not going to have a tube. It's not going to have the innards. It's going to be the hub, stainless steel spokes, and the rim of your choosing. Now you got Sun, you got uh, uh, Excel, and Warp 9. So I went with the Warp 9 uh, 36 hole, uh, 36 spoke rim. Uh, put the carrier, the cush drive, the whole nine back in here. Uh, it's going to come with bearings in it. The thing is, the bearings are in there just to true the rim. So you're gonna have to knock those out and then put in your spacers from the stock wheel and then put everything back together. So just keep that in mind when it comes in. The other thing you're gonna need is you're going to need a Ducati rotor. So you're gonna need to go on eBay or purchase a new one that fits a multitude of years. Uh, Ducati kept pretty much the same design on the rear uh, for quite some time. So this rim was a former Ducati rim or uh, rotor. Uh, it comes with the mounting hardware and everything, but you need to put the rotor on. Uh, the other thing it comes with is it's going to come with this uh, CNC uh, milled and billet aluminum uh, carrier for your caliper. So this caliper is going to hang in there off of the, um, the axle and keep your brake on there. The brake does not come with it. The brake is an additional charge and you will have to pick up a P32 or P34 Brembo in order to fit that carrier. So uh, what are the benefits of this? Well, you're gonna be lightening your bike a little bit. Um, this is all aluminum. Um, it is uh, pretty, uh, stout now uh, that I've got everything on it including the uh, tire and such but uh, that's a lot wider tire um, and I think that to me is the biggest benefit of this kit um, it gives you great stopping power because it, you have all this traction on the road it also gives it a great looking stance um, I'm gonna put this on the bike so that you get a look at it but it gives it a really good look. Um, this on top of the really fat uh, uh, 110 uh, front tire that's going to be on the 550 is going to make it look like a brute going down the street. Uh, this here is a three and a half inch by 17 rim. So I put pretty much the maximum you're gonna put on it and that's a 150. So keep that in mind. Um, Again, everything that comes out of uh, Cognito Moto, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is top quality. The machining on this is beautiful. Uh, the the uh, finish is great. Uh, they trued up this rim to make it look beautiful. The uh, spokes, I believe, are custom made, so they look great. Um, I have no complaints. Uh, the one thing that did happen to me was that when the brake carrier showed up with the original order, it was it had a large spacer on it. So apparently uh, the 74 and 75 CB550s, there was a small uh, section in there that actually had larger spacers on the rear than the mass majority that were manufactured. I was lucky enough to have one of those. I'm also finding that I'm also one of the lucky people to have the slightly different frame and the fact that when you put race carburetors on it, you don't have um, all the space you would like for air cleaners. So uh, another problem I'm gonna run into when we get to that part of the bike. But I'm gonna go ahead and mount this thing up so you get a really good look at it. All right, so here it is mounted up. Uh, pretty simple. 
Uh, all you're doing is running the axle through it, making sure you get your uh, uh, caliper holder and your thimble spacer put in there, and then adding your, your stock brake stay. Um, so everything's pretty much stock here. Um, it looks good, it gives it a nice wide uh, rear tire, um, and I think it's gonna be fantastic. Um, everything seems to line up chain-wise on the drive side, so I think we're good to move forward. A um, couple little things I have to work out are going to be, you know, getting the correct banjo bolts and brake lines run through here, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, so just have to work out how I'm going to do a rear master cylinder. But that's it for uh, this uh, preview. Uh, after we're done with the build, take it out on the road and start wrapping up uh, reviews of how everything's worked out so far. So subscribe, um, go ahead and uh, click the little uh, button down below and uh, look forward to seeing you all with your comments and everything else and uh, thank you very much.